Me and my cousin Anirudh, or Anni for short, decided to play a tug of war sitting. So I'm going to pull on this rope this way, in this particular direction, and Anni over there is gonna pull it in that way, in that particular direction. And what I want you to do is I wanna show you a clip of what happened when we started playing, and you should guess who is pulling harder on that rope. Okay, so here's the clip. Here's what happened. I won easily without any competition. Now, if you pause, can you tell me who is pulling harder on this rope, me or Ani? Now you might think, oh, this, the answer is obvious, right? Let's look at it one more time. Because Ani is moving towards me, I must be pulling harder and he's not doing anything. Definitely I'm pulling harder, right? Well, if you think that's the answer, then this video is gonna make you rethink about it. To answer questions like these correctly, we need to investigate a little bit about forces. So let's start with the question, what does a force do? Now the answer to this question also might seem pretty obvious, but let's first take some examples and then think about it. Say you have a coin on a carom board, and let's say you give it a tap. That means you give a force over here. You know what happens, it starts moving. Okay, let's take another one. Second example, consider now a coin that is already moving to the right, let's say. Then you might know due to the roughness of the surface, a frictional force starts acting in the opposite direction, and now it slows it down, makes it stop. Another example, Superman slows down a train by pushing it against its motion. And you can think of more examples like throwing a ball or catching it, etc. Now, what is common in all these cases? You're applying a force on an object, but what does that force do is the question. Well, let's think about it. Over here, we pushed that coin and the coin started moving. Over here, friction slowed down that coin. Here also, Superman is slowing down this train. When you throw a ball, you speed that ball up. When you catch a ball, you slow it down and make it stop. So in general, can you see that a force either speeds up an object or slows it down? Of course, it turns out force can also change direction of a moving object, but don't worry too much about that. So if you put all of this together in one sentence, then we can say a force causes acceleration. That's what a force does. It either speeds up an object or slows it down. But do forces always cause acceleration? Well, let's see. Take a look at this video of our tug of war. What do you see? Well, besides our Oscar winning acting faces, you see that both of us are pulling on this rope. So there are forces acting on this rope, yet that rope is not accelerating. It was at rest before, and look, it is still at rest. Why isn't it accelerating? Hmm, let's look at another one. Here's a bean bag kept on the floor. Now I start pulling on it, and look, the bag is not accelerating. Even though I'm putting a force on it, the bag has no acceleration, it's staying at rest. Why? Now we might be tempted to say things like maybe the beanbag is very heavy or maybe I am not pulling it hard enough, but look at our statement. There are no conditions applied. It's not that forces strong enough will cause acceleration. No, we just said, we said forces cause acceleration, right? So why isn't my force accelerating this beanbag? So you know what, think about this. Can you pause for a while and see if you can come up with an explanation? All right, let's see. Let's look at the first one and see if we can reason it out. Over here, both of us are pulling on that rope in the opposite direction. So maybe we are putting exactly the same amount of force. Maybe the two forces are equal and opposite. And as a result, their effects are canceling out. And that's why the rope is not getting any acceleration. That kind of makes sense, right? Okay, what about here? Maybe even here, my pulling force is canceled by some other force acting in the opposite direction on this bag. Who might be putting such a force? Well, here's a clue. I put a carpet for a reason because the carpet surface is rough. Did you guess it? It's friction. You might know whenever we try to move things on a rough surface, the floor or that surface opposes that motion by putting a force in the opposite direction in which you're trying to move it. 
and that force is called friction. And if you need more clarity on, you know, where this friction comes from, we've talked about it in a little bit detail in the previous video, so it'll be a great idea to go back and watch that. But anyways, now we can kind of guess what's going on even here. Maybe the force of friction is exactly equal and opposite to my force. Again, their effects are canceling out and so the bag is not accelerating. And so from our new findings, we can say that whenever we have equal and opposite forces acting on any body, then their effects cancel out. And as a result, in physics, we often say there is no net force acting on the body. The word net can be thought of as effective, no effective force. So even though there are forces acting on this rope and this bag, there is no net force acting on them. And what we found is that if there is no net force acting on an object, there is no acceleration on that object. And in such situations, these forces are also called balanced forces. It kind of makes sense, right? Because they're equal and opposite, they're balancing each other. And so balanced forces means no net force, no acceleration. Okay, now that we know that if there is no net force, we will get no acceleration, we can try and answer the question, what is needed to get an acceleration? How do we accelerate bodies? Imagine over here, if I started pulling more than my cousin, what would happen? Well, I'm pretty sure you can guess. Now, Anirudh and that rope will start speeding up towards me. And so now the rope will start accelerating. Now I didn't do this demo because this rope is a little rough and it could hurt his hands and he had an exam the next day. And the same is the case with beanbag as well. If I were to increase my pull, making the force larger than friction, now that beanbag will start accelerating towards me. And so whenever the forces don't cancel out, that's when we have acceleration. So in general, we'll say, a net force, a net force causes an acceleration. This means forces shouldn't cancel out. In other words, the forces should be unbalanced. That's also we can write. An unbalanced force causes acceleration. So if the forces are balanced, then there is no net force, no acceleration. Otherwise, we will get an acceleration. Okay, now let's put this knowledge to a test. I'll show you one more clip and you have to tell me whether it's under balanced or unbalanced forces, okay? Here goes. So you can see over here, the beanbag is moving towards me. I'm pulling it towards me. But what's important is coming at a constant speed. That's important, okay? So again, there are two forces. One is my pulling force, so I'm pulling it. And the second is the force of friction. So can you tell whether these two forces are balanced or unbalanced. Give it a try. Pause the video and think about this. All right, let's see. If you look at it one more time, because the bag is moving towards me, we might think that, you know, the we, we are pulling harder than the force of friction. That's why it's moving towards me. So we might think my force is larger than the force of friction. And as a result, this is unbalanced situation, but that's wrong. And the reason is if it was unbalanced, then this beanbag would have accelerated. In this case, it would have accelerated towards me. If my force was larger, it would speed up towards me. You know what would that look like? Let's look at to the right. It would look somewhat like this. Look over here. If my force was larger, then it would look somewhat like this. See? It would accelerate towards me. But is it accelerating? No, we saw it is going at a constant speed. So this can't be true. Similarly, do you think this can be possible? Do you think friction can be larger than my force? Again, that can't be possible because again, it would accelerate. This time, because friction is opposing, um, the beanbag would slow down. If this was true, let's look at it again over here, then the beanbag would slow down. This is what would happen if friction was larger. That's not happening. Now, because there is no acceleration, there's only one possibility, my force, must be exactly balanced by the force of friction. And so this is a situation of balanced forces. So even though the bag is moving towards me, it is still under balanced forces. Now having said this, I always had one question that always disturbed me. So if you go back to the original video, my question was, if my force is balancing the force of friction exactly, then what's keeping this bag in motion? Why is it moving? How is it moving? Well, if you two have the same question, then remember, 
things in motion have a natural tendency to stay in motion. You don't need to push it to keep it in motion. And we've talked a lot about this in a previous video. So if you need more clarity, great idea to go back and watch that video and then come back over here. Anyways, now we have everything we need to answer our original question. So if we come back to the initial tug of war clip, then what is important to see is that I'm pulling Anni with a constant speed. The rope is moving towards me at a constant speed. So, who do you think is pulling harder? Me or Ani? Well, now I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me that because this rope was not accelerating, it is moving at a constant speed, our forces must be balanced, which means I am pulling with the same force as which my cousin was pulling the rope with. And so what did we learn in this video? We saw that if two forces are exactly equal and opposite, then they are balanced, and such forces do not create any acceleration. And what's important is that just because forces are balanced does not mean an object has to be at rest. It can be moving with a constant speed as well.